Um, I'm in Botanic Gardens today. Uh, it's a beautiful day, so it's absolutely packed here. Um, we're going over to our destination today for Fact Friday, which is the Tropical Ravine. I gave a clue earlier. Um, it was a really terrible pun, so I do apologise for that. So Botanic Gardens itself actually has a really, really long history too. Um, it was opened in 1820. It was 190 years ago. Um, it's going to be celebrating its 200th anniversary, if you can do basic maths, in 10 years. Um, so that, that's an incredible achievement to have this open for so long. So it was actually a private park for the first 70 years of its existence. Um, it only got open to the public fully in 1898. Um, every Sunday it was open though, before that, and it had about 10,000 visitors a day in its heyday, which is pretty incredible. So this here is actually the Palm House. This is another destination you should visit if you come to Botanic. Um, so that was actually open in 1840 and it was designed by Charles Lanyon, who you probably all know by now if you follow some of my posts. So I thought I'd have a wee dander about this because it's a big tourist spot as well. Um, this holds many, many tropical plants and it's absolutely roasted in here. Um, it also holds a 400-year-old Xantharia plant. I think I pronounced that right? Not sure. So I'm gonna walk in here. That's the lowest handle I've ever seen on the door. Um, this is a beautiful spot. I've got hay fever and I haven't taken tablets today, so it's probably gonna kill me, but there's some lovely, lovely flowers in here too. If you wanna have a look around yourself someday. But I am going over to the Tropical Ravine now, you'll be glad to know, but um, next time I'm going to show you the whole park in all its glory here. And there's tons of people out and about. Lovely sunny day. People enjoying themselves. Great. So I'm in the Tropical Ravine at the minute, going up to the Tropical Zone which kind of looks like Jurassic Park a little bit. Uh, but I'll show you in the selfie views in a second what we're doing here. So this is the full view of the ravine. They've done a brilliant job. This is only actually opened last Wednesday again, and it was £3.8 million to refurbish. This is probably one of the most stunning features of the Tropical Ravine. It's uh, the waterfall, and they've restored that fully. And there's a whole garden in its glory. It's beautiful in here. So the ravine was opened in 1889, and that was built by head gardener at the time, which is Charles McKim. Um, in its heyday, as I said earlier, it had about 10,000 visitors a day, so hopefully in future we can, we can match that. So the aluminium roof was reconstructed again in the 1980s, and that was the, the last big project before the most recent one. And you can see these water vents, and they're releasing a mist to give an atmosphere like you would around the rainforest of South America and beyond. So the ravine holds many different types of plants. So there's cinnamon, there's bananas, there's dragon fruit, there's orchids, there's different ferns. It's amazing, the diversity in here. Kind of wondering what the big plant behind me was. That one there. So that's actually a banana plant. Um, apparently the banana plants here, you can eat the bananas, but they're, they're not very tasty, so they don't really do it. The staff members are more than willing to help you with any questions as well. They're all very, very knowledgeable, so um, give them a shout if you need any more info about this, but I'm going to go more exploring right here. So this is another beautiful part and I think this actually holds quite a lot of the fruit. There's guavas here and there's custard apples too and papayas. So this is one of the tropical zones but it's not as warm as the other ones. So there's some lovely views of Botanic Garden there. People enjoying the sun. You can see the palm house in the distance there and Queen's University in the background. And this van here is locally called a poke van and I will be getting that now because I'm absolutely roasting. So that's me done. That's the fact Friday for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, quite a quick one today, but sure. Um, if you're down, look for that building. That's Tropical Ravine and well, well worth a visit. I can see that being a huge tourist spot. I'm going to love you and leave you and get an ice cream from that guy there. So, see you later. See you next week.